Since the TSA smushed my foam tricopter that I made a few months ago, I've been wanting to design a new frame that I could print out on my 3D printer. I tried this a few times before with a quadcopter frame, but translating from a CAD drawing to physical parts that were strong and lightweight proved to be difficult. So using what I had learned, I sketched up a design in Google SketchUp and began printing it out. One of the things I knew I had to avoid was an excessive use of bolts to join parts together. Because of the size limitations of my printer, larger parts had to be cut into smaller pieces and then joined together using a mix of acetone and melted plastic. This method saved weight, simplified the design, and turned out to be quite strong. Once all eight main pieces were printed out and glued together, I started assembly. Here I'm using one of the motor booms to align the main frame pieces while I bolt them together. And then sliding the center frame piece into place before screwing the third main side panel on. Again using a motor boom to get everything aligned properly. Once all that was done, I began zip tying the center piece into place. Again, this avoids using excessive bolts or screws and simplifies the design. Although you could argue that it doesn't really save that much weight. So that's the main center frame piece completed. Next, I secured the front two motor mounts using 3 8 inch machine screws on the four corners of the boom. The rear motor boom was a bit more tricky. In order to have a strong tilting mount that had as little play as possible, I used a 3 inch steel shaft bearings, and some shaft collars. This assembly slid into the boom and was secured using quarter inch machine screws. Here I'm securing the tail servo using some zip ties. And then mounting the boom onto the main frame. And here it all is after I've installed the control rod from the servo to the mount. Now that that's all done, it's time for the motors. I'm using 250 watt, 1200 kV brushless motors from Hobby King, and they're uh, using 8x4 props. After that, I zip tied the 20 amp ESCs into place. For the rear one, I had to make sure that there was enough slack in the wires for when the motor tilted back and forth. And my favorite part, soldering. Marking off the wire for the battery connectors, and then stripping the wires and crimping them on. Here's an overview of the wiring. Here I'm installing the Velcro straps for the battery and securing the flight controller in place with double-sided tape. And after that, I plugged in all the wires from the ESCs, the servo, and the receiver. And then securing the receiver in place with more double-sided tape. And finally, installing the propellers.
and she's all ready to go. Thanks for watching.